Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for joining us for Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So we always love having you along. Hope these videos help you, uh, give you some insight maybe into your golf swing. And so we have Lexi Thompson up here, obviously a great player in the LPGA Tour, 14 victories around the world, major championship, one of the really fine ball strikers on tour. So let's take a look at this action. This is from the ShopRite Classic just this week here in Atlantic City, New Jersey area. So she is obviously just tremendous, been around a long time. Let's take a look at this motion. And I want to talk at the end about a tip for you on club selection off a tee. So here is her, um, here is she on the first hall at Atlantic City uh, there at Seaview. And she's got an iron. So it's 350 yards. And she's got an iron here for position. I recommend that. As, as she takes it away, you can see that she has, you know, a tremendous amount of uh, width right here turning around her center, right? So, you know, that rotary motion I talk about a lot. And you can see that she has really good width with her left arm. And that right hip has stayed in position. Very important, okay? And as she gets to the top, you're going to see this really nice coiled position. So upper body turns lower. And she's got probably well over 100 degrees of shoulder turn, not much hip turn. Nice to be young and flexible, but that's just, you know, a tremendous position right here. Um, and then you're going to see the classic move into the left side. So really, you know, initiating that lower body and getting some of that leg through the line. And then you see her lag right here. Um, she's tremendously powerful, top five in driving distance pretty much every year. And uh, so you can see that, you know, she uses her body so well. Um and and that's what creates that lag okay now moving into the hitting area now you're going to see some interesting things i'm not crazy about but golly i mentioned many times you hit enough balls you practice enough you can make a lot of things work um and so i i'm i wish if, if i was working with her <laughs> she certainly doesn't need me does she uh i'd like to see her maybe get a little bit more into that left side so she kind of posts her locks her her knee here, you know, right as she gets into impact a little earlier than some and, and hasn't really moved laterally as much as I see with most players. Um, so she doesn't really cover the ball. Let's call it that. And, um, you know, that's just her unique move. Right. And then she has another really unique move. It looks kind of funny when you watch it. When I was watching her, you know, I've seen her before. It just always looks funny. You know, now nice divot. We talk about that a lot with your irons. Right. Hitting down on the ball. And she's very much, you know, extended down, right? And then you see this right leg go kind of backwards, right? Not super great extension over here, right? Not classic, uh, certainly. And that right side really kind of lagging behind actually goes the other way. I really don't see that with the right leg. Uh, but, you know, so a unique move there. Uh, and then up onto a right toe. So, you know, you know, just really just great ball striking on her, on her part. Um, continues to do that year after year. Okay, and so what's the tip I want to give you here in terms of club selection? And this is something to keep in mind. I I'll often tell my students uh, this. I'd rather you make an aggressive swing with a conservative club than a conservative swing with an aggressive club. <laughs> okay, so in other words, I wouldn't want to see you back off and hit an easy driver in there, out there. I think that's harder to control than a, a full, you know, nice hit with a with an iron right kind of like a wedge like it's hard to hit like partial wedges right but you'd rather have a full wedge into the green and so that's what i recommend you do when you think about you know getting yourself around the golf course you know what can i swing aggressively not only for this shot but for the next shot i mean if you a driver here you got to hit an easy driver and then like an easy little sandwich probably because it's only 350 yards here at Seaview. So that's my tip of the day. Hope it helps you. As always, really appreciate you uh, being along for us. Thanks for subscribing. Join the community. I hope these help you. Always love your comments and your thumbs up. Let's, let's me know these videos are, are helping you. And also, gosh, if you like this video, happy to do one for you. So easy using the V1 app. Been getting folks from around the country sending the video in. Really easy to do and send it back with this kind of analysis. Love to do it for you. So feel free to contact the Academy and I can get you started. So thanks for being with us. Look forward to seeing you next week on Tour Swing Tuesday. And look for our new series on Friday, Fault in the Fix Friday. I think those can help you too. So God bless you. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Take care and bye for now.